Are you thinking about buying a home in Riverside, California? Well, if you are, you are definitely not the only one. Riverside is California's 12th biggest city, has well over 300,000 people. And not only that, it has surrounding communities that are very highly populated. You have millions of people in your general vicinity here in the Inland Empire. If you're unfamiliar, we are going to, in just a minute here, jump into my computer, open up Google Maps and show you around so you can have a good idea of where you're buying in Southern California in general and specifically in different parts of Riverside, knowing what kinds of shopping, what kinds of schools, hospitals, all of the things that you might be curious about will be explained in this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Google Maps. Inside this dotted red line is Riverside, California. Okay, so like I said, very big city, over 300,000 people sprawled all along the 91 here, the 60 and the 215. Big picture, Riverside is in the Inland Empire and it depends where in Riverside you are and when you're traveling, but you can get to the beaches in Orange County in about 40, 45 minutes, about a little under an hour, just about an hour perhaps to downtown LA. And then it's pretty much just directly north of San Diego. That's going to be more like hour and a half, maybe hour and 45 minutes if you're making some kind of day trip or perhaps visiting San Diego for the weekend. Now, if you're coming to visit or you have family or friends coming to visit you, if you're moving to Riverside, the first airport that I would recommend would definitely be Ontario. It's only going to be about 20 minutes from you, maybe even less. Again, all depends on when you are coming and going. Definitely beats the challenges, right? Associated with getting all the way to LAX, just getting there in general first, and then all kinds of congestion once you actually do make it to LAX. They say they're making upgrades. I was there a few months back. Took us forever to find a parking spot. Definitely would encourage you to think about using Ontario before LAX. You do have John Wayne also in Orange County or perhaps coming into Palm Springs, much smaller airport. So depending on where you're coming from, might not be as many flights. But check out Ontario first and then go on from there. Now, once you are in Riverside, most likely going to be driving just about everywhere. Riverside, Southern California in general does have some public transportation. But the bad news is it's not that popular and pretty much everyone just kind of gets around uh, using their own car. You can get all the way out to Redlands and then Riverside and then to the coast using the train. But again, really not that popular. Unfortunately, plan on being in your car most of the time on your visit to Riverside. Now, as far as staying in Riverside, you're going to be able to find something. So it's just up to personal preference, how much you want to spend, where you want to be. But I would first look at downtown Riverside. The Mission Inn is going to be a little bit more expensive depending on when you are visiting. It's going to be probably, you know, 40 to 50 bucks more expensive than some of the other hotels, but a good place to start. And then as you can see here, you got the Marriott not too far away and some other hotels that would be a little bit cheaper, but still right in downtown Riverside, very close to many restaurants and whoever you are visiting. So definitely would be able to find a hotel room in Riverside no matter when you're coming. There are also Airbnb options. Probably going to be paying a little bit more for an Airbnb depending on your preference, right? Are you renting the whole place or are you just having maybe a casita in the back of a property or a private room in somebody's house. But all kinds of options to stay in Riverside. I would start here and then kind of move a little bit west 
depending on where you're going to be for the majority of your visit. Okay. Now in terms of grabbing a bite to eat, the very first place that I would recommend, and this is place kind of expensive, but if you're looking for a nice sit down meal, it's actually right across the street from the mission in here. It's called Mario's Place. Very good Italian restaurants, good wine, good place to start. There's also a couple restaurants in the mission Inn. if you're looking for something maybe not so fancy you also have the old spaghetti factory right here on the other side of the 91 but then all kinds of options after that all kinds of national brands and chains just kind of think about how much time you have and when you're eating uh, you can definitely find a good spot to grab a bite to eat no matter where you are in riverside <laughs> If you've enjoyed the video at all to this point, please go ahead and hit that like button so YouTube knows to put it in front of more people like yourself. Also, go ahead and drop me an email. There it is on the screen right there, peterkanerealtor at gmail.com. Go ahead and introduce me to yourself. Just give me a brief description of where you are in your home search process and we can get the ball rolling. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, now in terms of shopping, you will not have to go very far. Riverside, right off the 91 at Tyler Street, has the Galleria. And any kind of shop you can imagine, it has it here at the Galleria, all kinds of restaurants as well. And then across the street from the mall, you also have some other shopping, Target, Kohl's, places to grab a quick bite. So definitely something for everybody. We just took the kids to Glow Mini Golf here not too long ago. So if the kids are into Glow Mini Golf, uh, it was a pretty good deal. They also have an arcade right behind the golf course in there. So if your kids are into that, be fair warned, it's kind of uh, overwhelming for three and a half year olds. But if you're into that, go for it. And then just shopping in general, right? The city has over 300,000 people all kinds of very good grocery markets, uh, specialty stores. You will not have to travel outside of Riverside to find everything that you need. Okay, now if you are in the market for a new or perhaps used car, you also have all kinds of options right here in Riverside, right along the 91 here, right off of Adams Street across the way from CBU. All kinds of car dealerships actually bought car. I used to have a Hyundai Elantra that we bought right over here, close to about 15 years ago now. But all kinds of uh, dealerships, some luxury type dealerships as well. There's Porsche, there's Mercedes, all kinds, you know, motorcycles. So everything that you could possibly imagine, uh, you'll pretty much find if you are looking for a new car here in Riverside. All right, that's all the time I have right now, unfortunately, but you can go ahead and click this video to continue learning about Riverside. <laughs>